a very, very special programme today because we're celebrating the talents of one Michael Ball. We're very pleased that he's with us. And also with us is a man who's no stranger to making stars himself. And now he is one. <laughs> he didn't intend to become a star, but he is. <laughs> Producer Nigel Lithgow. And someone who keeps a very close eye on our entertainment every week, but definitely on the television last night, the National Televi Television Awards. So that is Jason Solomon. So welcome to the Jason. Thank you, Jason. Now, did we like the awards last night? You were obviously there, Nigel. Yes. So what did you think? Um, it was very exciting to be there, and, and I was actually asked to present an award, which, you know, gave you a lot of pride to go out there. But just before I was about to go on, it was a commercial break, and they said, stay with us for the most hated man in Britain. <laughs> and you go, who's coming on, Osama bin Laden? <laughs> and it was me! <laughs> and they go, you go out there and you go, you're expecting all the booze, and thank goodness they cheered, you know. <laughs> so you got a good reception yeah. last night. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, what did you think? Well, I thought it was a great celebration of television. I mean, it, it, what it just shows that t TV in this country is still the best in the world and is in a very healthy state. You know, there are new programmes, there are old programmes, and, you know, the, the, the results and the winners were a mix, some surprises and some kind of old favourites. So it, it was good to see TV kind of awarded uh, as it should be. And Michael was watching at home with his feet up. Yeah, some great frocks. <laughs> some great frocks. <laughs> that's that's what happens. The... Everyone's around, they're going, what is she wearing? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not yeah. just Trevor McDonald. <laughs> how the material gets less and less every year then. Yeah. How much more of the body than There was that girl exposed? from The Bill who was wearing just a Chain wall. Chain wall. But it costs more money. The less you wear, the more money it costs. That's what's crazy. <laughs> and and it was cold last night. night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed. They had Gabby, Gabby, uh, Gabby Logan came on, Kirsty Gallagher. They were at it as well. And they, uh, even Des O'Connor's daughter right at the end, I mean, his youngest daughter, she'd forgotten her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, young lady. Just that bra bit underneath, yeah. was that it? Mm -hmm. well, any dis well, you must have been very disappointed, actually, about uh, pop stars. I actually thought it was genuinely going to win that category. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, to be honest, when Hearsay were in front of us, I th and they put me on the end of a row, you know, you sort of go, oh, I'm going to be going up there, I'm going to be going up there. And then they said, and the winner is... And you're about to get up like that. Michael Barrymore's My Kind of Music. Which, you know, actually, we have to say, in the Albert Hall, was a great disappointment. I have to be blunt about it. People groaned. Really? Yeah, but, yes. you, you know, it, it was our, my show, really. When oh, I was, was at London Weekend well? Television, we talked... Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I talked Michael Barrymore. <laughs> You'll be I talked Michael know, Barrymore into <laughs> doing that. So you were sort of disappointed for yourself, but happy for Michael Barrymore. Yeah. <laughs> Dig yourself yes. out of that one then, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try. <laughs> But I think so what it did show... So did you smack a more everything he knows? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what I think it does show is, is Michael's core fans, that they're yeah. still there and they're still voting, which yeah. is uh, great mm. for Michael. How, do you, how do you sort out your face when you... you, you look well, <laughs> the thing is, they did a friend's... No, I, know, I don't know if you saw it. And they were sort of going, oh... <laughs> oh. Yeah. The camera came on. So we said, if we lose, we'll do it. So I was going, oh... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the camera came on me, and before I went... Like that, <laughs> they cut off. Cut off. So it just... It just looked like I was really angry. <laughs> and there's a great moment when Rolf was caught as well, because Rolf was sort of sitting looking a bit miserable, and all of a sudden he caught himself and he goes... <laughs> 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 That's funny. Let's get a little bit of the flavour from last night. <laughs> there were plenty of other stars were taking advantage of the bubbly and celebrating. And Robinson's weakest link was voted off in favour of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire as most popular quiz show. The third win in three years for the hit show. There was also another success for daytime show this morning. It held on to the public's affections despite having registered the lowest ratings in its history since the departure of front couple Richard and Judy Finnegan. She avoided any embarrassing moments at this year's ceremony by leaving last year's fall-down frock safely at home. Sofa favourites David Jason and Amanda Burton scooped the title of Best Actor and Actress. And Jesse Wallace, who plays Cat in EastEnders, took a break from the traumas of Albert Square to be crowned Best Newcomer. In fact, the Queen Vic will have been handing out the champagne, as the soap itself was branded most popular serial drama. Yes, it all went swimmingly well last night. You know, you we were just saying, Nigel, when that was on, that there weren't any of the faux pas, like, you That's know, right. Judy's I'm dress Judy's falling off. Bubblies. I did. Yeah. <laughs> we like that last We've got everyone else's, though, Mike. <laughs> 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 Which is true. Um, I should also say that in the Albert Hall, the um, the wonderful response that the the fire representative and the police yeah. representative from New York got. Absolutely. I mean, the feeling in the Albert Hall was wonderful. They would have stood applauding for hours oh, if yeah, they'd right. allowed them to. It was what, fantastic. Watching it at home, 
you're always aware that this situation is going on, and it's a live event, and it's a, a, got a huge viewing uh, population. You're wondering, how are they going to approach this? Mm. And it was done with such dignity and a, a genuine admiration for these people. I, I was at that home, was I was quite choked up watching it. Was it was there. I mean, yeah, it was everyone got on their feet immediately. Mm. It's funny that the clips that followed them was a murder, a rape, child molestation. You're going, whoa, what's going on? This is a bit, you know, because yeah. it's such yeah. a serious moment when they walked on stage that... It was such a surprise because it had been sort of based around entertainment and everything else the evening it that when they it brought everything home, yeah. so you were on your feet. You know? From the reviewer's point of view, Jason, any surprises for you? Well, I was I was genuinely surprised that that pop stars didn't win. I mean, I know you were you you kind of know no lose situation for you with with my oh, Jim Davidson could have won. But <laughs> yeah, no. That, well, I'm glad he didn't actually. I must say, but I, pop stars for me was the genuine TV phenomenon of the year. It got people talking. I mean, that's what people cared about, and they really watched it. And I I was genuinely surprised that given that that's a voting show, that the, the viewers didn't vote for it as well because they're obviously quite a responsive audience. So well, I, I think it's a shame there. I thought I'd play a little game act this afternoon because all of you are either on television, singing on it, making it, being responsible for it, reviewing it. So guess what? I used to do a little show called We Love TV <laughs> and I always show. believe in never throwing a thing out. So I ferreted in my I bottom tell. drawer this morning. <laughs> Sometimes you should just think things like that. <laughs> Don't need to say them. <laughs> anyway, you don't want to be a judge of the next pop star. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll get you on the yeah. questions, Michael Ball. You'll All be right. 50 by the time I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> Give him okay, the hard one, okay. Gloria. Give him the hard one. I will. Now, listen, I mean, there's, there's no winning or no losing this because it's only for a bit of fun. I need a buzzer. Uh, however, OK, <laughs> so now, uh, in Till Death Us To Part, what football team did Alf Garner <laughs> support? <laughs> Oh, I thought it was... Are we buzzing? Oh, it doesn't matter, just shout it out. OK, got it. What did Alf Garnett invariably call his wife else? Sail the Elmo. Sail the did. Now, we're going on to um, Coronation Street, because you used to watch Coronation Street all the time. Going back a bit. Who played Elizabeth I on the street's Jubilee Day parade? Was it A, Annie Walker, B, Ina Sharples, or C, Rita Fenton? Annie Walker. It was Annie Walker. <laughs> Albert so Tatlock's so niece is another Corrie's <laughs> thing. Albert Tatlock's niece, hairdresser Valerie, was the first of Ken Barler's three wives. In 1972, she died. How did she die? She was electrocuted by a hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> she was, actually. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. Now, which <laughs> Which is the show with the Dolly Dealers? <laughs> you should know this, Nigel. I'll let some Play a car drive! Right. <laughs> Who presented the very first Top of the Pops on New Year's Day in 1964? Was it Pete Murray, Jimmy Savile or David Jacobs? Jimmy, Jimmy Savile. Savile. It was. Which is, the sh which is the show with the sound... or was the show with the soundproof booth? Mr. and Mrs. No. no oh, yes, uh, sort of, yeah, sort of. Double your money. Double your money, yeah. Mm. Which presenter was oh, known as oh. the Quiz Inquisitor? The Quiz Inquisitor? Michael Miles. He was. Mm. And uh, actually... These are all too old for me. No, I know. <laughs> Okay, now listen, I haven't got this one. This one I particularly. Oh yes, <laughs> children's questions. Because tell the truth, you used to change the TV with your toe, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. You did. I had. I was a very spoiled child, and I had a little. <laughs> there was a little black and white portable, and I worked out this way. I could lie and <laughs> just change it like that. And <laughs> Have you ever thought so the sad. research that goes into these sort of programs? <laughs> Where do they get this information from? <laughs> Here are the questions, going back to your childhood, OK. Which <laughs> show sad. ended when the gardener came back from lunch? Oh, uh, Bill and Ben. Bill and ben. Yes. In which programme about a family was the father always seen naked from the waist up? Wooden tops. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Should have seen the mother. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one. Steptoe and Son was, was, as you know, set in West London, but their junkyard was opposite the BBC. Maybe you didn't know that. But we'll, um, we'll move on to the actual name of the horse. What was it? Hercules. Oh, you're too good. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. Give them a good round of applause. Yeah, yeah, really good one. Tell you, complete television buck. Yeah. Who won? Did Nigel win or Michael? Michael. Michael. Oh, Michael. 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 Oh, Michael. Michael. <laughs> I have to listen to my That's my Michael. 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 What did Nigel get? <laughs> <laughs> so very you got an elbow. No poor. Six. Sounds like my wife out there. What did Jason get? Did he get anything? Yeah. Is he too young? No, he did. I got some. He kept whispering in my ear. Less. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think you did very well in that. Tragic, isn't have it? Have we got time to have a look at Michael at the Albert Hall? What? <laughs> Not, yes, <laughs> we're all voting. Because as we were talking about the Albert Hall last night, this was Andrew Lloyd Webber's 50th 
birthday, which was a trick. Oh, I'm all right about this clip, then. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, darling, you are the star. You get oh. to do the end bit, don't you, with oh. all the but stars around you? Great backing singers, yeah. Glenn Tell Close, them. Antonio Banderas, Boy Zone. Yeah. Um, who else was there? Darius. <laughs> Is the bloke from the wooden top? I there. did it again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a great moment at the Albert Hall, and here is Michael in action. Off into the world we go, planning futures, shaping years. I was the only one on that stage I'd never heard of. <laughs> and Banderas there is wearing my shirt. Oh, that's right. Hey, he borrowed your shirt. Nick, my me? shirt. Did you ever get it back? No. Tell Nigel what he said. He said, he, he said, impossible. I'm going to do Phantom of the Opera. He's got this white shirt. He doesn't look right. What the hell do I do? So I said, come here, I'll give you... And I gave him my, a really nice Donna Karen number. So he slept that on. Caddy goes, now this is my singing shirt. I don't do anything without this shirt. I know. You'll never get this back. <laughs> In fact, it was thank you because I gave him these sweets that you have before you got before I sing and he was chewing on one of those before he went completely <laughs> 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 ruined his performance <laughs> <laughs> well what I loved out was that again. adoring look from Glenn Close when you were hitting that yeah. high note at the end yeah. she sort yeah. of like you really hit it. Was it. Nice. Anyway, it's absolutely fabulous. So are you going to stay, of course, yes. for another little while? Because we're not finished yet, actually. <sighs> I've got Nigel, a bus to thank you very much. Thank and you. to Jason. Thank you very much. Really fabulous. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have just enough time to put a couple of questions from the audience. They've been very, very patient and they've got a few questions to ask of their own. <laughs> and another song coming up from Michael from the brand new album. And we're giving you the chance to win tickets to see him live in concert. So you've got to stay with us. That was so funny. I love it.